What is up guys and today I'll be showing you a step by step guide on how to get a thousand FPS. So there are a couple things I should be telling you before I get into it. So first of all, if you're on like console or like a low end PC and you just know you're not getting a thousand FPS, you're not getting a thousand FPS. But on the other side, if you have a PC like mine, you can get somewhere close to it or possibly get to a thousand FPS. Now let's get into it. All right guys, so I got a new creative map, my own personal map that I do not have anything on. And as you can hear, I'm in a Discord call. I'm in a Discord call. I have Spotify open. I am recording and I have all of these stuff open. And then here are my settings. And these are the frames I get when I look up into the sky. We're somewhere around, I want to say 700, 600 maybe. And then now I'll be optimizing my settings to hopefully get these higher. Okay, so first I'll begin with leaving my Discord call and turning off Discord. Alright, pretty easy. Now, my Spotify is gone. And my Battle.net. And then my Epic Games. I cannot close this right here or my OBS because that is what I'm recording on currently. But now let's get into my settings. And as you can see, I do not have much storage left. I have 111 gigabytes free out of a terabyte so that's not too much so now i will be um deleting all the files i do not need or want all right guys so i cleared out my files and then this is how much we have now 345 gigabytes of free space. We just gained around, somewhere around 200, a little more than 200 gigabytes. This is gonna help us a lot with our frames and um, just clear up our PC in general. Now we are going to go to our window settings. All right, so for your settings, your window settings are very important because there are some settings that um, are meant for gaming your first of all your fresh rate on your monitor has to be the highest it can mine is 240 hertz with um stretch resolution all right so game mode optimize your pc for play by turning things off in the background this is um there is no right or wrong answer either you turn it on and off um basically it's all up to your pc you're gonna have to experiment with it i'm Perfect fine with it off, no stutters, anything like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna just have mine off. All right, your game bar. Your game bar, please, please, please have this off. Turn off your game bar. It destroys your PC's frames and performance, and overall, it is not good. All right, guys, next is something called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. So, it's literally what it says it does right here, right under it. I have mine off obviously so it can help my frames and performance. Now we'll be getting into our NVIDIA settings. Alright guys, so the NVIDIA control panel, open NVIDIA control panel. I'll be showing you the best uh, 3D settings right here. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to scroll down. If you need to pause and copy it down, and then I'll show you my other settings right here my resolution um and i think that's it so yeah that's the nvidia part all right hey guys now i am in game i am recording on nvidia now because i'm pretty sure it takes less ram and everything so like i did before i'm going to go in the same exact map the same exact skin and everything and i'm gonna look up It looks to me like we're around 800 FPS, a low of like 700, a high of 950 maybe. Yeah. So it helped our frames by around 200 frames. 
obviously everyone's gonna get different results some people might get more more frames than me some might get less all right guys that was it on how to get more frames better input delay and overall better performance okay so here were my settings as i showed you um i have stretch resolution which is going to give me a little bit more fps performance mode i have everything on this low 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 all right guys that was my fps boost guide hopefully helped you out hopefully you enjoyed thanks for watching and peace out